now I don't have a VH4 but obviously this is uh, the next best thing uh, probably anyway Tony has lent me this diesel VH4 kind of pedal this is supposed to be a recreation of channel 3 of the diesel VH4 quite a famous amp what's it good for probably kind of rocky metal heavy metal tones it's quite a high gain beast so this is everything at five and we're going into the HX stomp um, in the loop of the stomp and what I'm also doing is just running an IR on the HX stomp and this is what you heard in the intro I might have been A-being between the emulation in the HX stomp and VH4 so uh, here's how it sounds with everything at five except for the master which is kind of I think just a basic volume control <laughs> So that's gain at halfway, obviously a fairly fire breathing type thing, it's uh, certainly not for the faint of heart, let's insert another cliche. So gain all the way up, we get this kind of thing. <laughs> Plenty of gain. Oh wait, this is gain. just do quickly what each of these controls do these presence and deep controls are like the most important things I think so presence obviously you're gonna be familiar this is doing like high-end so we're sort of uh, there taking care of the very high end and I think as you roll that off you get a bit less gain <laughs> So yeah, we're adding kind of things above the treble frequency there. Then the deep is doing the same sort of thing, but below the bass control. So if we turn deep all the way off. Kind of those subby low frequencies. So with that deep control you can get that feeling of sort of lots of air kicking around a cabinet. Then gain, the kind of range of usable gain. Even all the way down. We still have quite a bit of breakup. And then probably to off. If you have the gain all the way down it goes off. Then gain halfway. Super hot output of this, by the way, if you were interested. So this master we have to keep quite low. <laughs> Bass, middle and treble do the things you'd expect. <laughs> And 
sounds to me like that's more of a Marshall style EQ, as in it's after the gain stack rather than before. It doesn't seem to be making crazy, crazy differences to the tone. So I also wanted to see how is it compared to the Das Benzin Mega, which is the Helix version of channel three of a diesel. So this is with everything at five. Helix. So I think the diesel's got quite a bit more gain there at that setting, so I'm going to take the drive up on the Helix 2.6. More 6.5 maybe. And maybe I might try putting that deep up ever so slightly. Uh. A bit too much gain there, but let's take this gain all the way 75% and then 75 maybe 80% on here So a little bit more gain I think Maybe a smidge more. the Helix model is a little bit more polite than diesel here. Maybe if we kind of up this sag parameter so we get a bit more compression and stuff. Um, let's see. <laughs>
anyway, let me know what you think. Does that pedal do anything it sounds like you want it to do? Um, does this model sound anything like that? I think they're kind of close. I feel like this has quite a bit more gain on tap. Um, but you could also boost the front of this. So I'll do a little intro now. Hopefully that was vaguely interesting to anyone who might be interested in the diesel VH4 pedal or the HX Stomp. Those are some of the sounds that you can get from them.